Even though ChatGPT has been stealing headlines the world over, it's not the star of this video. That title goes to another contender, Music LM. But what exactly is Music LM? It's a machine learning model developed by researchers at Google that's able to generate high fidelity music from text descriptions. But we've been able to do that for a while now. Mubert, Refusion? Yeah, but here's where it gets interesting. Music LM can outperform both. It's able to generate high fidelity music at 24 kilohertz consistently over several minutes. But the real kicker, it's able to take in conditional signals beyond text. This means that it can take a snapshot of you humming or whistling alongside a text prompt and generate new music based on that input. I'm gonna show just how phenomenal that is a little bit later and why there might be a few issues with it. So let me give you the machine learning 411. Who, what, when, where, and how. The model was released on the 26th of January, 2023 by researchers at Google. What makes it unique is that it's able to generate music over a longer period of time and sticks to the brief with the ability to use both text and audio as conditions. So that means if you tell Music LM to generate a rock music iteration of Despacito, it will. But how does this work exactly? The model works by approaching music generation as a hierarchical sequence to sequence modeling task. It uses three pre-trained models, Mulan, word to vec Bert, and SoundStream to generate token representations of an audio signal. Mulan itself is fascinating in that it's a joint audio text embedding model, which allows it to generate a similar set of tokens for an audio clip and its associated text description. During training, audio is passed through three pre-trained models. Using the output tokens, two separate models are trained, a semantic model, which assists in preventing memorization, and an acoustic model, which generates acoustic tokens. Once trained, we can pass text to Mulan instead of audio and decode the resulting tokens through Soundstream's decoder to synthesize music. Let's go take a look. Alrighty, so over here at the Music LM generating music from text demo page. Now we've got the abstract over here. So we introduced Music LM, a model for generating high fidelity music from text descriptions. Now, what is a text description? A calming violin melody backed by a distorted guitar riff. So this is effectively the text condition that we'd pass through to Music LM to be able to drive the type of music that's generated out. Cool thing about it is that it is able to generate music at a high fidelity, 24 kilohertz. Now the cool thing as well is that they actually released a public data set called Music Caps. I'll include a link somewhere over there, which was used by a number of musical experts to determine whether or not Music LM was generating high quality music. Now that brings us to the high quality music. We interrupt your regular programming to tell you the courses from Nick is officially alive. If you'd like to get up and running in machine learning, deep learning, and data science, head on over to www.coursesfromnick to find the latest and greatest. I'm also going to be releasing a free Python for data science course in the upcoming weeks, so be sure to stay in the know. But if you're ready to hit the ground running, well, I highly recommend you check out the full stack machine learning course. This goes through seven different projects, 20 hours of content, all the way through full stack production ready machine learning projects. Head on over to www.coursesfromnick forward slash bundles forward slash full stack ml and use the discount code youtube50 to get 50% off back to our regular programming as you scroll on down within the page you've got a number of different samples that you can go and listen to now they list the actual text conditions are so over here. You've got uh, the main soundtrack of an arcade game it is fast paced and upbeat with a catchy electric guitar riff so if we go and play this Very interesting. What about this one? A fusion of reggaeton and electronic dance music with a spacey otherworldly sound includes the experience of being lost. It's actually kind of interesting that they're talking about including an experience or a feeling. I think that's my fave so far. I mean, that one sounds pretty, pretty good. Now, a distinguished characteristic about Music LM is its ability to generate music, which is consistent over a long period of time. This is traditionally something which is quite difficult to do. Now that brings us to long generation. So there's a few prompts here, melodic techno, swing, and relaxing jazz. Let's go and listen to some jazz. I mean, it sounds really good. You'd expect that to be played in a cigar parlor or a piano bar. I could definitely feel this. What if we skip forward? Because this is the test of time, whether or not it's able to still sound consistent as we move forward. Sounds pretty good to me.
Pretty cool. So it sounds like long generation is actually performing quite well. But what is also cool is that they've got this story mode. So this means that they've aligned certain text conditions to timings within the music. So over here, you've got jazz song, pop song, rock song, then death metal song, then rap song, then string quartet with violins, then epic movie soundtrack with drums, then Scottish folk song with traditional instruments. So this is quite a string. So, so zero to 15 jazz song. Is that a real language? Yeah, I don't know if those lyrics actually are coherent or are actually from a, a real language. If anyone knows, let, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so we're now into pop. What happens if we skip forward to like death metal, which is at 45 seconds? Very Dragon Force here. I mean, that's pretty cool that it's been able to go and generate music using these text conditions, not just one, but multiple, and they're encoded at a specific time step. Psst, come here, wanna know a secret? Are you looking for your next dream job in data science, machine learning, deep learning, or just data in general? Well, you need to join Jobs from Nick. Each and every week, I'll send you a curated list of the best jobs in data. These are okay. jobs with great perks, great people, and great roles. Plus, you'll get access to exclusive content like AMAs, interviews, and resume reviews. So, why not join? Plus, it's completely free. Link is in the description below. What are you waiting for? All right, back to the video. This is my favorite though. So the amazing thing about Music LM is that it's able to be conditioned on not just text, but melodies as well. Now, I don't know about you, but if you haven't seen Money Heist, it is one of the greatest series ever. Now, there is a song inside of Money Heist, which is absolutely iconic. It's called Bella Chow, and it sort of goes like... But let's listen. You, you, you get the idea. What they've got is a humming melody of Bella Chow. So if we go and play this... Na -na -na -na, na -na -na -na. I mean, I thought I was pretty close to humming that. But the cool thing about this is that you've got the ability to pass through a melody and a text condition. So this means that the Music LM model will try to combine the humming, for example, in Bella Chow, with a text condition of opera singer, for example. So if we go, ideally, we should get a combination of this humming, but sung by an opera singer. Let's listen. All right, got a little loud bit towards the end, but that, how amazing does that sound? What about um tribal drums and flute? How absolutely amazing is that? So it's been able to take a melody and a text condition and generate music that satisfies those conditions. How cool is this as well? Painting captioning. Like imagine you're inside of an art gallery. You could use Music LM to generate music which suits that painting. Over here, we've got a painting of The Persistence of Memory by Salvador Dali. And they've probably used like a text captioning or an image captioning model to be able to generate a painting description. This looks like it might have been written by someone, but... His melting clock imagery mocks the rigidity of chronometric time. The watches themselves look like soft cheese. Indeed, by Dali's own account, they were inspired by hallucinations after eating camembert cheese. I mean, how much cheese did he eat exactly? Let's listen. I could definitely imagine that in like a museum of contemporary art, just, just playing to, to art. Pretty cool, right? Now, one of my favorite examples on here is the ability to pass through a text condition around musician experience. So here we've got four different levels. Beginner piano player, intermediate piano player, professional piano player, 
and crazy fast professional piano player. So beginner. I mean, I don't know what you consider beginner, but that's way better than what I can do. Intermediate. Definitely sounds better as though the musician is more experienced. What about professional? Definitely more pro. What on earth is crazy fast then? Okay, so that is Music LM though. So we're going to take a look at like musician experience levels, uh, painting, caption description, text and melody, which I think is absolutely phenomenal. Go and take a look at this. I'll include all the links below. Now, this brings us to the topic of concern. The only thing that I don't like about this is that Google hasn't made it open source. So it is Feb right now, and who knows where they'll go with this. But at the moment, you've got these examples that you can take a look at, but you can't generate music yourself using the Music LM model, which is a bit of a shame, but it's so amazing that there is a model out there that is able to do something as sophisticated as this. But I will talk a little bit about this in a second. But anyway, that was Music LM. Hopefully you enjoyed the music. I personally think this is an absolutely amazing model. The ability from someone like me, a content creator, to be able to type in a text description and generate audio that matches a particular vibe or a particular scene will speed up workflows ridiculously. My one bugbear, and this is the only thing that I can pick apart in it, is that it's not open source. Now, I'm guessing this is presumably due to ethical reasons and the possibility that the machine learning model might generate or memorize a similar style or vibe of audio, that is kind of understandable and presumably there's gonna be additional research to go into that to ensure that that doesn't necessarily happen. We've sort of seen what's happened with other machine learning models like DALI and Stable Diffusion where people are able to rip off the vibe of other artists. Ideally, you wouldn't want that happening with audio as well because there's businesses that are established purely on providing stock audio for content creators and for content in general. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed checking out Music LM. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit subscribe and tick that bell and let me know what you thought of this style. Do you like taking a look at state-of-the-art models and taking a look at research? Do you like me giving breakdowns? If you do, let me know. If you don't, let me know as well and let me know what you think I can do to improve because I'm always welcome to your feedback. Thanks so much for tuning in guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.